Let's go to Proverbs 24 and 17. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Rejoice not when thy enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. So what does this mean? Pretty much when bad things are happening to your enemy, don't be happy about it. When they are in trouble, when they fall into sin, when many bad things happen to them, don't be like, yes, yes, I am so happy that God is punishing them now. Don't be that way. That is wrong. That is evil. For instance, there was this person that did something to me, not once, not twice, from what I hear. Well, actually, that one incident, he did this multiple times and have done other things to me in the past. And the most recent one, I was really like so angry about it, so angry. And then days later, I found out what happened to him. Now, the first thing that came to my mind was to be so happy, like smile and jump around and like have like a party or something. Not really a party, but you know what I am speaking of. I was so happy. I'm like, finally, this person is somewhere that, that they cannot backstab me, you know? But so when I heard the news, you know, I was getting happy. To be quite honest with you, I was getting really happy. And after a while, I started to really feel bad about getting happy about that person getting into trouble. I was really, really feeling bad about that. And now I was having trouble praying for that enemy because <laughs> I did not really know what to pray for for that enemy because I just did not want to think about that person. Then after a month or two months, I believe I prayed for that person a month later. And then after two months, like I really, really prayed for this person because at that time, I was really feeling sorry for that person. Because if you think about it, and think about it this way, while we are on this earth, we are being tested. And whether a person is doing well on their test or not, we can't, let's say that something bad is happening. Let's say that, uh, I don't know, like a hurricane is coming or something like that and everyone is running toward shelter or something like that. And you know, the really fit people, the fast people are up front, you know, close to the shelter. But if there are some people who may be handicapped, that may be hurt or whatever else that are straggling behind, you know, way, in the back so
so if you see those people now I don't think it is a bad thing to save yourself because a hurricane is coming right but when you see people way in the back it would be a great thing to turn around and help those people to get to shelter as well. Does that make any sense? When danger comes, yes, it is good to save yourself, but it is even better to turn around and help those people who are struggling in life. I pray that this makes sense. So when we have to understand when people are treating you wrongly, you have to understand that person has problems. More than likely, psychological problems. So demonic problems. They are going through trouble in life big time trouble because if a person is influenced to bother you to irritate you that tells you right there that they have a problem why a person would want to go to another person and bother them that shows you an issue there I pray that this makes sense so at times we have to turn around and help the people who are way in the back even if <laughs> we don't want to because i know that we don't want issues in life we don't want to have to argue and all this stuff like that we want to be problem free as i stated earlier we are in a test so we are being graded yes graded on what we do say and think in this life so if you do go to heaven after death i want god to be happy with what i have been doing for people for god so on and so on like I remember when I was in high school, I believe in my history class, like we would have our normal homework and we would have extra credit. And what I would do at times, I would do the extra credit because what if I don't score high enough on my test or my homework or whatever else? that extra credit would bring up my grade, which it did. It really helped a lot. So, it is nothing wrong with doing extra credit. Keep this in mind. We are being tested. I am being tested. And like I said before, the things that are happening to you now is happening for a reason because God is watching you putting that person in your pathway to irritate you to see how you are going to react to it. This is why we must love everyone and do things for people even when we don't want to. 99% of the people that I help in some way or form, I don't want to help, but I do it because I love them. I love people. The more that I love people, it shows how much I love God. I may not like the way they treat me, but I love God. And I want to go to heaven. And I know that I am being tested, so I am going to do right by people. There are people who lie on me and stuff like that. And I don't have no bad feeling toward them. Like, there are people who are really trying to get me into trouble. Crazy. But 
I don't feel any bad thing for them. And if they get in trouble for doing what they have been doing to me, I want, I don't want any bad thing to happen to them. I want people to show them mercy even when they are trying to get me into trouble. Because how can I ask for mercy if I am not willing to give it? Even if someone does you wrong day after day after day, on and on and on and on, You have to be willing to show mercy because you are, you never know what is going to happen to you in life. You believe that you are going to be safe and careful and stuff like that, but you don't know when you are going to mess up or when demons are going to put you in a situation that is going to make things hard for you. You don't know when that is going to happen. So have mercy for people. Show mercy to people. In order to receive mercy, you have to be able to give mercy. This is not a one-sided, selfish type of thing here. Does this make any sense? So I pray that this all makes sense. We are being tested. I can't say this enough. This life is a test. You have to treat it as a test. This is not your life. This is not our life. Our life, per se, please understand me, our life, per se, is going to be in heaven or hell. This is a test. This earth that we are living in, per se, this is a test. This is not our life. We are being graded for however long that we are going to live here. So treat this existence, I guess you can say, as a test. That is all it is. Please believe me. Please believe me. Because if you treat it as a test, I'm telling you, this existence, or if you want to say it, this life, is going to be much easier for you. But this is not life, if you understand what I am saying. Your real life is going to be heaven or hell. So I want people to understand what I am trying to say. This life is a test on this earth. But your real life is going to be in heaven or hell. And the things that I teach, and if you do them, according to what the Bible is saying, you will go to heaven. I am teaching you things that I have to abide by as well. Because if I don't, do you think Kev is going to heaven if I don't abide by these rules? Of course not. No one is exempt unless you are an infant or a child that don't really know right from wrong. So let me stop here. God bless.